So what he's going to give him is called the Capaldian, uh, the Capaldian. So the Capaldian is in the shape of a sphere, and it's very simple. And what it's going to do is the the uh, burner is going to, well, Lulu wants to know how where the hell he, she's going to put that to carry it. I mean, it's such an odd little thing. She could put it on her backpack or something. I don't know. Um, but Burner's like, no, 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 just, uh, this is going to hurt a little. Bam! And he smacks it right at her chest. And she rides in pain a little bit. I mean, obviously you don't see that. Um, but it starts glowing and then kind of fades out a little bit. And what it is, is the Capaldian is merged, immediately is, is merged with her. Um, when it comes time to release it, it will come back out as it was before it came in, but, and he'll kind of explain to her what's going on during the cinematic, like, um, he'll tell her how the, the main parts of the Capaldian is the fact that it has um, infinite space, it is, it will provide me, Lulu, the player, with a small amount of protection, so kind of think of it like a shield, um, that we never see, obviously, but we could kind of attribute it to her health. So your shield is maybe like if it's dots or a slider or whatever, then your shield has a certain amount of power that you can recharge with uh, certain items, um, but that kind of deals with that, and once your shield is gone, then maybe you have like two hits that you can take before you die. So it's not going to be demon souls like oh my god this is so stupid hard um from my point of view because i think it is i love watching the animation though so um that's why i'll kind of run around the world and try not to die and it'll also it also gives me the power to fire these like photon type of uh blasts these beam or not beams but the, these um well like uh like balls of energy and Eventually down the road, I'll be able to, they, I will get stronger with these. I will be able to control their speed or direction or whatever. Um, actually, we'll be able to control the direction now, but um, basically it's going to become more badass later on. And so these are the main parts of the Capaldian for me. So as I'm going through the world and, and, I'm, and I'm going through my journey and all that it implies, I can basically have this... I can collect as many things as I want. I don't have a suitcase. I don't have this like um, the you know, this this uh, box that it exists inside of you know in, in some sort of other world where I can access it you know from a menu or whatever. I'll be able to access this from a menu, obviously, but I'm trying to make it so that it's part of her. And even if it's a a, a, a cheat as far as like it's got infinite space, I don't care. <laughs> I like it. Um, so there's that. And so first things he's going to actually, as he's telling her what this is capable of, he takes the bomb, this series of bombs that he, she's going to need to place later on, uh, into the, he throws it at her, and it immediately gets sucked in. So right there he's telling her that if you're near an item, like pretty much on top of the item, then it immediately gets sucked into uh, the Capaldian. Now, this is more for, as the player, you are... For me, it helps me say, well, it makes sense that if she's running towards something and she doesn't pick it up, it just kind of becomes part of her, like a, an energy sphere or um, a, an item or, or something like that. So that's what that happens. And then he wants to tell her about the shield, but in <laughs> the way of doing that, he pulls out a gun and is like, bam, 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 bam. And then she's kind of like, um, then he immediately goes to flamethrower. And then she's... Uh, kind of on, she's smoking there, and he throws um, one of the things that, items that she'll be able to get through the forest and some other areas of the world, which is called a, a heiku pod. And these, based on the size or the, if they're really small, but you get a lot of them or you get a big one, um, which the big ones will be far and few between, the, it'll help regenerate your, not only your health, but it'll help regenerate your shield. And then he tells her, hey, you got the ability to shoot things. And she's like, really? Bam! And he, she, she uh, hits it with it. And he's like, yeah, I kind of deserve that. And all of a sudden, outside, she hears the, the uh, or the burner hears the, uh, one of the big guards that's about to come in here. Because they're all looking for this Capaldian. 
and we'll know that as we're going along. It's not going to be something like, oh, why didn't I know about this? Um, I think I'll have already said it in the cinematic, I forget. So immediately he's like, oh, you need to hide. So she uses him as a, a, um, a launch to get up here and then it's just hanging from the, the ledge there. So the M88 comes in, he's one of the bigger ones, and Burner's like, what? I don't understand what you're doing. And then she drops, or she has, she slips a little bit and um, knocks some pebbles on his shoulder, and he's like, oh, we found her! And then he's talking into the walkie-talkie, and then uh, Burner jumps back and is like, bang, bang, bang! And M88's like, what are you shooting me with? Pellets? What the hell? And then, so Lulu jumps out, and this is still the cinematic, so this is... Um, this is the cinematic, but yet also we're showing, hey, the player, you can do this. Um, so we jump over this way, and then bam, crunches him in the head, jumps off of that, at the same time snapping his neck. We're not pulling his neck off. I just didn't, I mean, you see his head there. I just, just uh, erased it without realizing it. So he falls down, and Burner's like, hell yeah, man. So Lulu goes out, and she's going to try and be sneaky because she has to get the to the communications tower in order to blow it up before she leaves Lakshmi. I mean, before she leaves Arotha. But when she goes out, she was they were expecting her. She's like, basically, her thought bubble says, shit. 